Welcome to IDE Series 2022. This is a video guide on how to record your robot run for the IDE Robotics event. Step 1. Set up a zoom device where it has a clear view of the playfield and teams. If you have more than one team using the same playfield, try and position the device so that all teams can be clearly seen. Step 2. Find a good angle from which to record video. You should be able to see the whole play field clearly. Set up another device to be used as the stopwatch. Ensure that the time can be clearly seen from the video. During practice and filming, ensure that safe distancing is observed at all times. You can practice as many times as needed and record as many robot runs as you like, but this must be done within the 2 hour time limit. Only one video can be submitted and no additional time will be given for video taking. When recording your robot run, clearly identify your team at the start. This can be done verbally or through a sign. Your robot must start fully inside the indicated start zone. One teammate will be the operator and another teammate will be the timer. Once ready, operator will call 3, 2, 1 start and the timer will start the stopwatch accordingly. 3, 2, 1, go! When the robot has completed its run, the robot operator should say stop clearly and loudly. This will allow the judge to know when to stop the time. Stop! If the robot has gone off course or the team wishes to stop the run, the robot operator should also say stop at this point. Stop! Note that until the operator calls stop, the judge will keep the time running. In case of a tie, the team with the lower time will be given a higher rank. So choose carefully when to stop your robot. After stopping, zoom in to each of your props as well as your robot so that the judge can see the final placement of each of the items and award the scores accordingly. The judge will not count any other points or penalties incurred after stop is called. Also note that if the robot was touched any time between when the operator calls start and stop in the video, the team will be disqualified. You may take as many videos as you like, but you can only submit one video. Your video must be taken within the 2 hour time limit. Video must be in 1080p and no more than 600 megabytes. This video must be taken in a single take and must not be edited. To submit your video, let's go into a web browser. Key in the submission URL provided. This URL is provided for students to be familiar with the process. On actual day, the URL will be different. Click Add Files and follow your phone's menu to find the video on your phone. Key in your team's name, followed by a dash, and then key in this special PIN number that we will provide you. This is for security purposes. Then key in your email address. Be sure you check all your details, especially the video you have before you click Upload. Only one video submission per team will be accepted. If working from a computer, the process is very similar. Just key in the same URL. Then navigate to the folder where your video is stored. You can drag and drop your video straight into the browser. You will be given 20 minutes at the end of the competition to upload your video. During this time, no additional robot runs may be made. Check with the judge that your video was correctly uploaded before you log off from Zoom. Thank you for watching and I'll see you there. Goodbye.